Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy, Diaries of a Disabled Mom. Um, so the kid's upstairs, the dog's finally napping. Um, sorry about the background noise. For some reason, loud ass cars come down the street. It's frustrating. Anyways, since kid's upstairs, the dog's taking a nap. Thought I'd do a quick video. It's been a long day. I think this is Sage's first nap because she's been playing with Gus all day. Um, she does fairly well with him for the most part, but he also likes to hype her up and run around with her. So we've been outside a lot today because it's nice out. Some interesting things have happened. So my daughter's dad's girlfriend found him as work because uh, he works at you know the store where you can go buy things at and I guess she talked to him she acted like she knew me and she you know told him other stuff which I don't understand why she would tell him what she told him, but she told him. Um, <laughs> and so Tim comes to me, tells me about her and how this girl, Missy, has a kid that looks similar to my daughter. I'm just like, I don't know no Missy. I don't, I don't know a woman who has a daughter that looks like my daughter. I've not met one yet um so we call my daughter's dad's mom and we tell her the encounter because I'm trying to figure out who this woman is you know it turned out to be my daughter's dad's girlfriend and I've only seen her one time so I forgot about her because this was like almost two years ago maybe a year and a half ago she seen me for like 30 seconds uh, as she was leaving the their house with um my daughter's dad and she didn't even say hi so you know I didn't I didn't even think of her and I didn't know her name was Missy um she does have a daughter but the last time I seen her she did not resemble anything about my daughter so it like it it struck me as like huh um well I guess some people think that they are cousins because they look alike in some ways like her daughter resembles my daughter but I don't see it um however his mom was pretty heated about it and then she called and I guess let her have it um well uh it turns out that she watches my YouTube channel. So hello, Missy. If you're watching this. Um, so now his family knows I have a YouTube channel. Um, I guess I didn't care if they found out, but on the same hand, I didn't want them to find out. I haven't put a lot about what happened between me and my daughter's dad. Um, I almost thought about it, but I'm glad I didn't since his girlfriend found me. <laughs> so, that's interesting. I don't know how his girlfriends always find me. Like, um, his brother's ex-girlfriend. She's been his ex for a while now. I think before me and Brad even broke up, if I remember right. And then after me and Brad broke up and I started being more on social media, she kept finding me and I kept blocking her. And then she would have another name and find me again. She even found me on you now. Like not a lot of people know about you now. So that was interesting. I gave up blocking her because she just comes back. And then he had a girlfriend before the one he has now. Um, I don't know much about the one he has now. So, like, I don't have a lot to say on her. 
but um, the one before that seemed to have it really out for me to the point to where her and my daughter's dad broke up. Um, and for some reason, he was really stuck on her having two bathrooms. <laughs> but um, he gave me a lot of dirty looks. She didn't like that. Um, his mom was over communicating with me. This is when my, um, daughter had baseball games. So we were at a baseball game and she was giving me dirty looks. And I didn't even notice, but Tim did because, um, I don't know. He notices things like that. And then, um, they had a part where the siblings of the kids or something could go like on the, the baseball field. And she wanted her niece to, but she didn't want my son to. But we ended up having my son go anyways. And she came at me about taking pictures of her niece because she was around summer at the time. But I know how to make it to where it zooms on just on summer. Like, I wasn't trying to take a picture of her niece. I didn't know that kid or nothing. Um, so she seemed very focused on me. And then after they broke up, she found me on Facebook and I told Donna and then she found out that she seemed to want to start some stuff with me because of it. I don't know. Anyways, I don't like that one very well. Um, I don't have opinions on this new one. Um, so I find it weird that she found, I don't know how she found me. Um, I mean, my name isn't really a very common name. And I'm a very, very small YouTuber. So it took a while before um, I felt comfortable, you know, just being me and trying to live my own life and do my own thing. And then I started this YouTube channel um, after what went down with them. And now I'm a little stuck again. But um, I'm going to keep my YouTube channel. I really don't know how much she has watched, though, or if she went back far enough. Because, you know, there's a lot of stuff on here about autism, epilepsy, our life. Um, some of the struggles we deal with as being special needs family. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on this channel. I don't know if my daughter's dad has seen anything on this channel. Um, but, yeah, they now know I have a channel. Thank you for that. And because of my YouTube channel, it's how she knew Tim and recognized him because they have never met until that day. He didn't know who she was. Um, so yeah, that's that's been kind of interesting. Um, I'm starting to train the puppy. She knows sit a little bit. Ooh, my arm's getting tired. She knows leave it, which has helped with her digging because she started digging holes in the yard and um, Gus has been wanting to help train with her so I let him do little things um for the most part she's actually a pretty chill dog until he hypes her up so like um she gets pretty hyper when Gus is around and she does pretty well with him um, I guess they're herding dogs and I need to work on the herding thing. So it might be a while if she even becomes a service dog. I'm hoping at some point she will. She is pretty chill. Well, I gotta desensitize her to sounds too because she wakes up so easily. Uh, <laughs> it was probably, probably pretty quiet on that farm. Anyways... Um, I don't know what else to say that I'm kind of weirded out. Hi, Pookie. <laughs> Just chilling in the window. Um, we're also working on Be Quiet because she barks a lot. But she's kind of getting the hang of it and the barking's going down a little. <laughs> um, we've also been working on her chasing the cats because apparently she's hurting the cats. To me, herding just kind of looks like playful dog play. So like, I don't know. Because um, Gus usually initiates it before 
she starts doing it. However, she does it instantly with the cats when they run. So now that I kind of got a grasp on what hurting looks like, I'm going to see if I can correct it. Ooh, my finger. Um, I've been watching tons of training videos. Um, starting her off on basic things. I'm still trying to teach her to walk on a leash. Um, pie training has been a nightmare. But uh, she's only had two accidents today that I know of. I don't really let her have the run of the house. I kind of control what parts of the house she's at and make sure I can usually see her at all times. Gus has taught her to play with his toys, so uh, we have another problem, but I will fix that later. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to tell you about that interesting encounter. Um, needless to say, uh, my daughter's dad's mom was not pleased. Um, I'm trying to filter myself since, uh, she's watching or may, may be watching. I don't know. I really don't know how long she's been watching me. Um, so yeah. Hope everyone's having an awesome day and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. See you in the next video.